Hey guys, welcome to the next Cosplay Spotlight here on Pop Culture Crafts. I promised earlier that there'd be an 11th Doctor Cosplay Spotlight coming up tonight, and lo and behold, this is the video. So let's jump into the costume I've been putting together for about four to five months now. It's about 99% complete, but I'm definitely confident I can show the entire thing to you in this video. So let's get started. Hopefully it won't be too long. I'm going to work through it as fast as I can, but hopefully making it still able to understand. So here we go. So as always, starting off with the bottom of the cosplay and working our way up, I'm going to go with my 11th Doctor boots to start off. Now these aren't 100% accurate as you can easily see because they zip up instead of being laced up, but they're pretty close. I got these for about $8 at a local thrift store and really happy that I picked these up because the 11th Doctor cosplay was about oh, four or five months away when I first got these. It was one of the first few things I got. Um, it's really just a simple leather style boot with a zip up, but as I said, um, it's kind of got a rounded toe as you can see there. It's definitely an ankle kind of cut boot that's very important that you want to go with something like that because your uh, pants are eventually going to be rolled up to kind of expose as much of the boot as possible. So it's very important to have kind of an ankle cut boot when you're looking for a, a, a specific kind of boot for the 11th Doctor costume. So let's move on to the pants next. Now let's move on to the black skinny jeans. Now the 11th Doctor wore a, a few different varieties of skinny black jeans in the different uh, series. I got these from Target. They're made by uh, Denizen, which is a company under Levi's. And they're pretty simple. The um, 11th Doctor wore skinny jeans that weren't totally skin tight. They were just a little bit baggy as far as skinny jeans go. But you can get these at a variety of clothing stores. Like I said, I got these at Target. You can get them at uh, various places like Kohl's, Macy's, wherever you typically buy your jeans. You just want to go with a skinny uh, kind of jean instead of a normal traditional fit and that will go great for the 11th Doctor costume. You are going to roll up the bottoms a little bit to kind of ride just above the boots. I'll show you that right again. So you're going to be rolling them up so they go just below or like kind of just right about the top of the boots. So it's very important, like I said before, to have those kind of high top boots so you can roll these up a bit. So now we move on to the dress shirts. Now you actually have a bunch of options because the, the 11th Doctor used a bunch of different colored dress shirts throughout the three series of the show. This one is a blue and white pinstripe going vertically, of course. I typically refer to this one as part of the cowboy outfit, which I'll talk about a little bit later on, which is pretty cool. I'll, I'll have a few surprises for that. And this one's kind of a, it was a lilac color, almost a little bit darker than a lavender. And this one's kind of close to one of the um, almost pink shirts that he wore. It's not exactly a pastel pink, it's a little more of a purplish color, but it definitely goes well with the uh, tweed suits, which, are, which is what I'm going to show you next. He also wore kind of a blue, um, kind of a powder blue shirt, which I show you a little bit later with the tweed jackets. But you do have a bunch of different options with going with dress shirts. I got both of these at local thrift stores or just found them in my closet as part of my normal business wear. Thrift stores will probably be your best bet because you have a whole bunch of different options with colors and designs to go with. The next thing is, of course, the iconic tweed jacket. Now, the easiest way to find tweed jackets is to go to your local thrift store. I know that's a common theme in a lot of my uh, cosplay spotlights, but the thrift store is really your best bet for getting a lot of these things. It took me literally three months to find a cosplay um, or a tweed jacket that really worked really well for the cosplay. And it, mostly because it's just trying to find the right size for me. I'm kind of a slender, thin guy, and a lot of the suits I found were just way too big, but they were the right design. This was kind of a herringbone design. It's kind of like a nice light color. That works perfectly for this specific jacket. And he did wear three different kinds on the show, I believe, so you do have a little bit of an option when you are searching various thrift stores for these. But like I said, it took a few months to find them. This, of course, is the kind of that powder blue uh, shirt I was talking about. And this one's a little bit different. It kind of has a couple of different colors going through it. It's got kind of a purple and then an orange going this way. That isn't totally accurate, but it kind of blends in well with the color of the jacket. And it's not entirely accurate, but I think it goes pretty well. And it, it definitely is, works well with the whole 11th Doctor costume. So now let's move on to a few of the accessories. And of course, I'm, I'm lumping the bracers and the bow tie and a bunch of other things into that as well. So now we go over bracers and bow ties. So the bracers, or suspenders as we call them here in the United States, pretty much two different colors that he wore, kind of a burgundy color, which you can get on eBay and a bunch of other places online. And this is kind of a midnight blue color. It's just a few shades blue off of a kind of a basic black. Probably looks black on the camera. And that goes kind of with all the blue color shirts that he wore. And this, of course, was, goes with kind of the red and burgundy shirts that he wore. The bow ties also kind of match the bracers in a lot of the episodes. This one's kind of a nice, almost burgundy, a little bit 
a few shades brighter than burgundy. Of course, this is a, a self-tie one that you have to tie yourself. Definitely helps to uh, learn how to tie the bow tie because it'll look a lot nicer. I'll put a link in the description box for a video that taught me how to do it. It took me about two weeks to learn how to do it, and the video in the, in the description box, I'll put a link to it, taught me in about 10 seconds. So I wish I'd found that video first. It really would've saved me a lot of time. And this one is kind of a really dark twilight blue color. I'll put the link as well as to where I got these bow ties in the description box. And this one goes with all the blue one, just as with the uh, the burgundy bow tie goes with all the kind of the burgundy outfits, with the bracers and everything. So those are bracers and bow ties. So now we move on to actual accessories. The 11th Doctor screwdriver is always a great accessory to go with this costume. Uh, the Psychic Paper, obviously a carryover from the 9th and 10th Doctors. That's another prop you can get online or you can actually make it. There's a few templates online on how to make it. Uh, the 11th Doctor's watch, just a simple gold colored watch. He always wore it on his left uh, wrist with the band facing inward on the inside of your wrist. Uh, here's a, sh a Marshall badge, which is pretty close to the Marshall badge used in a uh, town called Mercy. That's one of the one episodes where he kind of turns into a, a Marshall and he g is given the badge. And lastly, we have uh, a uh, name tag. This one is called, uh, from. it's kind of a, a name tag from the episode Closing Time where the doctor actually gets a job. And this is kind of the uh, name tag that he got. I got this one on Etsy. There's a whole bunch of people on Etsy that will actually make this one. It's real close to the exact one that you see on the show. So it's really cool to wear. And then when he... Um, in the episode, he actually wore it on one of the bracer straps without his uh, tweed coat, so you could actually see it on the bracers. So, these are just a few of the accessories that you can have for the costume. Now, let's uh, wrap up this uh, cosplay spotlight with some hats. So before we move on to hats, a brief word about wigs. Now obviously the 11th Doctor has a very signature hairstyle, obviously I can't pull that off, but a lot of people have gone the extra mile to kind of get a wig that they can style to the Doctor's very unique hairstyle. There's a bunch of them online that you can get that'll work for wigs. Uh, you can typically go to uh, a Doctor Who forums and ask, you know, 11 Doctor wig. If you type that into Google, there are a whole bunch of hits will come up with a, a couple of different wigs that you can use. But it's definitely a route that I'm probably going to go in the future. But with uh, thinking of that, in the meantime, the Do 11th Doctor did wear a lot of different co kinds of hats. And I've always been a big fan of hats, both in and out of cosplay. So I decided to uh, kind of feature a whole bunch of different hats that actually go with the 11th Doctor costume. So let's get started on that. So probably the most popular hat in the, in the entire Doctor Who universe is the Fez, and that's pretty much due to the 11th Doctor, of course. If you go to any comic book convention and you see, you know, a guy on the other side of the convention floor wearing a Fez, all you can see is the Fez, you can pretty much guarantee that it's an 11th Doctor cosplay. And uh, you can make a Fez. There's a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube on how to make one. That's eventually the route that I'm going to go eventually. Haven't made one yet. You can also buy a couple on eBay. But if you really want to go with the right size and the right color, I would suggest finding the, the uh, fabric and using one of the tutorials to make your own. In addition to that, uh, we do have a Santa hat. I got this for a dollar at uh, a, a thrift store, uh, not thrift store, a dollar store around the Christmas season. He did wear these occasionally in a lot of the Christmas specials. It's a, just a simple, you know, a fabric hat that can go great for a Christmas themed 11th Doctor. Also, is a hat that I taught you guys how to make on the channel a little while back, and this was the hat that was briefly featured in the episode of Christmas Carol, another Christmas special, and really simple to make out of felt and a little bit of ribbon, and it's definitely one of those hats that'll definitely stick out, and I think a lot of people probably won't recognize it, but the truly devoted 11th Doctor fans will definitely recognize it from that one episode of Christmas Carol, one of the Christmas specials. Or, you could go with probably the most expensive hat, and that is... The Stetson! I wear a Stetson now. Stetsons are very cool. Alright, the Stetson Hutchins is the cowboy hat that he wore during the sixth series of the show. And it was pretty much the most expensive uh, hat that you can get for, for the costume. It definitely sticks out like a sore thumb. Everyone will pretty much recognize the Stetson. So it's definitely one of the ways that you can really set yourself apart with making a, an 11 Doctor cosplay. Uh, they are pretty expensive. I got this one for about $77, I think, with included shipping. They generally retail between $85 and $100, so it's a pretty expensive hat. Definitely not one of the most expensive, you know, cowboy hats out there. They, they can run up to $500, $600 and more. 
but it's definitely something you want to save up for. I definitely saved up for this one and I ended up using it for a cowboy cosplay as well. So I definitely wanted to get my use out of it because it's an amazing hat. It's got, you know, the same uh, kind of uh, bar on the top just like it does on the show. I confirmed all that before I got it just to make sure it had all the right ones. It's exactly the same one that he used on the show. It's even got the, uh, the, the felt on the inside, you know, the, that, uh, that green part which you can see in a few shots. Great hat, definitely completes the cosplay and it, it, it's that part of that cowboy uh, version of the, of the entire costume that I was talking to you earlier. So definitely adds a lot to the costume. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this cosplay spotlight on the 11th Doctor. I really hope you liked it. The 11th Doctor is a uh, cosplay that you can definitely, you know, mix and match a lot of different kinds of uh, costumes and, uh, not costumes, but different kinds of uh, shirts and, and pants and stuff like that. You can definitely mess around with a lot of the stuff you get at thrift stores to really come up with a great costume. If you have the hair, definitely go with the hair. Uh, if you, if you want to go with the hat, like as I showed you, there's a whole bunch of different options, one of the Fez being one of the most popular, and of course the Stetson would be a great addition as well if you can afford it. But as I said, hope you guys liked the video. I'll catch you next time on the channel for more pop culture crafts videos coming soon. Take care.